Hello friends and a heartfelt welcome to Ghostwatch. Today we're checking out a video called Top 10 Scary Ghost Videos for Toilet Viewing. And it's by, as you can see in the background, Nukes Top 5. Without further ado, let's check it out. Like right now. Because why not? What are we waiting for? The voice from the bushes. Donine Bull Davis, who lives on the Louis Bull Tribe Reserve. In Ain't that a story from the Bible? You know, God talking to Moses through a burning bush. I, uh, it sounds legit, yeah. In Alberta, Canada, is relaxing at home one evening with her family. Suddenly, they begin to hear strange sounds coming from the dense thicket of bushes in their backyard. But... They don't see anything there. What happens next is truly creepy. Janine and her family all hear the same spine chilling sound of a raspy little voice coming from somewhere in their Holy backyard. Toaster. The voice just. I also thought it was some kind of animal. A start. Woman say I see you and no. Is it a parrot? Or a crow? Crow can learn to speak, right? Doesn't sound normal. And then things really start to get weird. Oh come out so I can see you. Come out! Come on! Maybe that is some animal. It just sounds like it says no and I see you. Like Peridolia, you know? You want to hear something, you hear it. Come on! Come on. DJ! That is weird though. Come on up! Shut up! Come on! Hey, What's going no. on? What's wrong with you? Holy air fryer, man. Huh? What's wrong with you? What? Huh? What? What? <laughs> what? Huh? Huh? What? The creepy voice seems to mock the family, mimicking what they say and eerily laughing at them while hiding in the bushes. Holy spatula, but man. Believe it or not. The situation takes an even more terrifying turn. Let's check it out. Come on out! Why not? Yeah, come on! That is no animal. I thought it was at first, you know, we, we hear what we want to hear, you know, but it's responding. You wanna play? Come on out! Come on! Come on! Oh, out. Dude, let's leave! No! Not with you! No! What the F, man? This freaky ass shit. Whatever is hiding in the bushes now asks, wanna play? Holy and when crap. Back, the family has now just had enough. They call the local police to their house and Dunin shows them the footage that she has recorded. The officers scout through the bushes looking for the threatening stranger. One of the officers also hears the raspy little voice mocking him. But even though he says the voice sounds right next to him, he says he didn't see anyone in the bushes. Donine says that to this day, this disturbing event remains unexplained. Many That's video creepy, commenters man. believe that this could be some kind of creature roaming the Louis Bull tribe reserve. But what do you think this creepy voice could I be? I have absolutely no clue. Hiding. What do you think that is? Comment down below.
I would love to hear what you think about that. Was that just an animal? Is it a recording they put out there? No, is it a hoax? Is it real? I don't know. Among the graves. Nuke's top five viewer Savannah Escoto says that she had a very strange experience when she took her four-year-old daughter Isabella to visit her brother's grave at the San Fernando Cemetery in San Antonio, Texas. What is it? Come here. Come hither. Why don't you want to go sit down over there? You're scared of what? What the girl shadow? What girl shadow? Girl shadow? What's that? Behind the tree. Behind the tree? You know, kids and animals, they can sense and see these things a lot better than us. Or I don't want to call myself a grown up because I don't feel very grown up. Little Isabella says you know? that she sees, quote, a girl shadow behind a tree in the cemetery and comes hurrying back. Children are just more susceptible to, the, to these things. To her mom. When Savannah turns her camera toward the tree, she catches what appears to be a face from behind the tree. <laughs> the face seems to be translucent as cars passing on the road behind can be seen right through it. What? So is this the girl shadow that little Isabella was afraid of? Look at her that pale Savannah face. isn't sure what to think of this creepy experience. And she has no idea Holy who crap, or man. what this is. What the F is that? Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five. Yeah, and also if you like the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And let's continue. Contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Prized possession. This next creepy video was shared on the popular Spanish language podcast, Podcast Paranormal, by guest and paranormal investigator Antonio Zamudio. On the podcast, Antonio tells the story of Augusto, an 11 year old boy who started behaving very oddly after buying a strange looking doll at a garage sale. The little boy became obsessed with the toy, staying up all night and talking to the little doll. After hearing unexplained voices in their house, Augusto's mother had had enough. She threw the doll away. But Burn it. the doll mysteriously reappeared three days later at their home, Burn lying it. at the foot Call of priest. Augusto's bed. Paranormal investigator Antonio sets out to help the family and installs several static cameras throughout the home. The doll is placed in the hallway just outside the little boy's bedroom as he goes to sleep. The static camera recording the hallway Catches something downright chilling. What? That ain't right. That can't be real, man. Soon after the boy falls asleep, the doll begins to move and then seems to actually run to the 11 year old's bedroom. Holy! Antonio and the family are shocked oh. when they watch the footage. The investigator decides to take the doll from the family and has kept Look it locked at away at his home doll, ever since. So could the doll be possessed by a spirit? Or just what do you think happened here? Let me know. What? Unstable. This next strange Holy video was crap. recorded by a CCTV camera in a horse stable. But the location of the stable and the original source of the footage are unknown. The video shows a horse in its stall, relaxed and peaceful. But around 2.39 a.m., there's an odd dark flash across the CCTV camera. And then all hell breaks loose. Oh. That horse got scared as F. What happened? Did someone slap its butt? Something 
unknown disturbs the horse so much that it panics and actually breaks right through its stall. What? But that's not all, because as the horse roams loose in the stable, what happens next is truly bizarre. Who's screaming like that? That ain't a horse. Horse don't scream like that. Holy crap balls, man. This is suspenseful, man. What's making that sound? That horse is scared as F. lingers at a different stall, disturbing one of the other horses as it kicks and makes panic noises. The horse then seems to angrily attempt to leap over into the other stall with that horse. The stable owner says that this incident is one of the weirdest things he's ever experienced. That is not natural horse behavior, that is. No. Hell no. What's going on in that stable, With man? one of his horses. Now, this video was shared to TikTok, and comments mentioned that the culprit might be, uh, Jen, as apparently it is said that Jens will often torment horses. And there was also that odd dark flicker in the camera footage. So, paranormal or not? Really, without a source, we'll never know what happened here. And maybe this horse just randomly lost- That just freaked me the F out. And what freaked that horse out? So it just breaks out of his stable and trying to jump into another stable, you know? Lost its damn mind. The passenger. What? Taxi driver Jarek from Baguio, Philippines is working the night shift when he spots a woman on the side of the road who needs a lift. What happens next is something he'll never forget. I think we've seen this one before, right? Nothing came in the car. You know? I don't think this is the one we have seen. This is another one. We did did not see anyone enter the taxi. You know? This could easily be fake, though, right? He could have stopped, and a friend was standing outside. You know, hiding and opening the door, closing it again. I think I called BS on this one. But he does look legit freaked out though. Scout Barrio Sabi. I 
Oh, I call BS on this one. He's reacting too much to it, you know. You'd thought you would just be baffled, but he's rambling. You know. And he's alone in the car. Who is he rambling to? I don't I don't know. I call BS. We can see the taxi door open and close, and Jarek swears a woman wearing a long white and purple dress stepped into his taxi, requesting to be taken to Scout Barrio, a neighborhood in the city. After a short drive, he looks into his rearview mirror to discover that there's no woman in his car. But she if that's real, that would... That would freak me the F out disappeared. He's baffled and looks around the back seat in startled disbelief. Jarek says he was tired and never got a good look at the woman's face, but he's certain a woman got in his car. So could it be that Jarek gave a taxi ride to a spirit? Or just what do you think was I happening here? I think it's a hoax. The right? In the what do you guys think? You Am stopped I wrong? by your Raul Garcia Ogando reached out to me about something that his son caught on camera while exploring an old mine in El Paso, Texas. Did you see it? No. As Ryle's son pans the camera, someone or something can be seen hiding in the darkness oh, yeah. in the cave. Raul explains in his email that he didn't see anything at the time. It looks translucent as well. A very uh, blurred, you know? You don't see any facial features or anything. What? And didn't notice the figure until they looked back at their videos later. So what is this? I don't know. Let me know. Holy coaster, in man. Mirror in Morocco. Nuke's top five viewer Carlo reached out to me about a strange video recorded by his sister Grace during a trip to Morocco. Grace and her husband are at the Riyadh La Russa Hotel in Fez, Morocco. Grace decides to take a video of the beautiful 17th century palace style interior. What happens next is truly bizarre. Check it out. This is the door going inside. Riyadh La Russa. And then this is going outside. We're now heading to the... Oh, there it is. Oh, sorry. What? What? Did you see it? Of course you did. It was right in front of the a camera. Man appears out of nowhere, startling Grace so much that she apologizes for almost walking into him. But when she turns around, it's, he's gone. And he just suddenly appears right there. What? Now here's where it gets weird. When taking a closer look at the footage, Grace and her husband can clearly be seen in the reflection of a mirror yeah, hanging there's on no the one wall else. in front of them. But there's no man. Then in a split second, the man appears right in front of her, standing what? quietly. Grace then turns towards the exit, and we Holy. see her reflection again. And there was no cut in the video. Is that proof? Of the paranormal? Holy spatula, fork and knife. Where did that guy come again from? Get in a different wall mirror. But again, the standing man is not there. He's not, no. She turns around and the man is gone. Now finally, perhaps this is just normal camera blur. But when taking a no. close look at the man's face in the video, something just doesn't look quite right what but you decide on this that so must be grace proof. capture a paranormal event on camera could this be right? a so-called glitch in the matrix yeah Either that way, could also be yeah let me know what you think 
Oh, there it is. Oops, How freaking sorry. weird is that? Where did, where did they Your come from? Your car's extended Jen warranty. Popular Jordanian paranormal investigator Hassan Barbar is exposed. Oh, Hassan Barbar. His videos are almost too good to be true. They are so far out and freaky and scary as shit. ...in an abandoned location somewhere in the middle of nowhere, when suddenly he hears the sound of his car alarm going off in the distance. Now, obviously, Hassan wants to know what triggered the car alarm, and he heads back to check it out. What happens next was all captured live on Snapchat. Yeah, that's the thing. He always does this live. It's just, it's almost impossible to fake, you know, these things live because you can't cut in the video or. That's the thing. You're not alone. What else was that? Or who was that? Something jumps out at his son, absolutely scaring this <laughs> out of him. <laughs> he eventually <laughs> regains his composure, but when he looks around the car, he There's finds nothing, there. nothing and no one. I'm going to show you No one there. Unfortunately for Hassan, this isn't the end. What? The spirit's driving off with his car. There's no one in there. And we didn't hear the, you know, the car door slam. So it couldn't be a friend, you know, that because we couldn't see into the driver's seat when it drove off, you know, if one of his friends was driving. But when he stopped here, we didn't hear a car, car door slam shut. Holy moly! Holy mother of Moses! Hassan's car seems to just drive away on its own, eventually coming to a stop a little way down the road. Hassan is shocked by the bizarre experience. Oh, was it too far away? So we couldn't hear the car door slam shut. And I finds don't know. no one you tell in me. or around his car. The investigator has had enough. He ends his live stream and drives home, <laughs> presumably wanting to be sure that his car doesn't just drive home without him. <laughs> so did Hassan capture creepy gen activity live on camera? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? I don't know, man. You decide. The old sacred heart. Re that one's difficult to call. If that all was with help from a friend. Or it really was a gin, you know? Restaurant employee Nikki works at Ozone Pizza, located in the old abandoned and restored Sacred Heart Hospital 
in Pensacola, Florida. The hospital was built way back in 1915, and except for the pizza restaurant, the large structure is mostly empty. It's said that the old hospital is haunted by... What a place to have a pizzeria. <laughs> it's like an abandoned hospital. That's the only thing that's in... The hospital Former now. patients and the ghosts of nuns who work there. It's 11.30 at night and Nikki decides to go on a walk around the hospital with his co-workers after their shift. That's when the group spots something very creepy. Oh my God. You see it? Oh my God. You see it? It had arms. What had arms? No, those are arms. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's a real person. No, those are arms now. No, those are arms. What? No, those are arms. Is it this we are looking at? Where are the arms you're talking about? Arms. Oh, it's moving. What? No, no. I don't care. Those There's someone are or something in there. The building is completely empty, yet someone can be seen standing behind a window. Yeah. The group freaks out and have no idea who or what it could and be. And where does that light Mickey behind and his it friends believe that the creepy from. apparition might belong to one of the nuns who used to work in the hospital. And a close-up of their capture does indeed there look a arms. bit like a thin woman <laughs> who could be dressed in a nun's habit. But again I ask, what do you think this is? You decide. That could be a co-worker or something, you know? That could easily be faked as well. The dark thing in the basement. TikTok user Will Graves is home alone when he starts to hear the disturbing sound of someone walking around in his basement. Now, Will believes his house to be haunted, so he starts recording and cautiously heads downstairs to check it out. Okay, TikTok, so my power is out. At the moment, in the basement, and I swear, I keep hearing someone walk. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's kind of creepy. Was that a shadow creep? Laundry room still has power, so that's good. But the uh, did I just see a shadow the creep in power there? Is completely out, which is very strange. I'm not sure what that noise was, but I don't know. I'm home alone right now. Well, so. I, I think I've seen this video before. <sighs> we'll see, I guess. Now all the cupboards are open, yeah? In the I'll kitchen. Back. They no, were closed just there. before, two know. seconds ago. There's been a lot of strange things happening. Figures, hey, they're closed still. Shadows. So, I don't know. Maybe some tips, advice would help out. I can't really see anything, but uh, there's no one in here. Did you see it? Yeah. As I Will did walks see downstairs it. into his basement, someone can be seen standing inside his bathtub. It's a shadow creep. Really just facing the wall. When Will looks back into the bathroom about 30 seconds later, There's no one there. the figure has completely disappeared. Will says that he's done several paranormal investigations at his local cemetery, and he believes something might have followed, followed him, home. him home. But is it real, or is it all just an elaborate hoax? I don't know. You decide. Look at that. Thanks so much for watching. As always, yeah. my schedule is weird, so please hit subscribe and also hit the little bell notification icon so you never miss a video. Yeah, do that to my channel as well, so you don't miss an episode. I almost, almost upload every day. But like Nukes Top 5, my upload schedule is also pretty weird. <laughs> I appreciate you all watching. Until next time, bye bye.